What is quantum computing? Well, before I answer that, computers work by using bits, one and zero, where one means on and zero means off. This is useful because if you have enough of these in series, then it's almost like a new language, just one that the computer understands that's composed of zeros and ones, where you can now talk to the computer and tell it what to do and execute. But quantum computers do something a little different. They use quantum bits or qubits. The interesting thing about these is that they can actually be built zero and one at the same time. Well, why is this so powerful? Imagine trying to solve a maze. A regular computer would have to try each path individually one by one to find the way out. But a quantum computer, it can try all the pads at once to find the way out solely because it can be zero and one at the same time. And this ability for qubits to be zero and one at the same time is essential to the quantum computer's functionality. And it's called superposition. And it's all thanks to this guy, Erwin Schrodinger, who figured out quantum superposition, which is what lets us make qubits act like how they do. But anyway, it gets more interesting because quantum computers also use something that Schrodinger figured out too, called entanglement. This is like having two qubits that are so deeply connected that if you change one, the other changes instantly, no matter how far apart they are. This is helpful because it's like having a team of super smart friends all working together with no delays. Just know that instead of people, imagine qubits spread out across a computer working together. So in a nutshell, quantum computers use special types of bits called qubits instead of ordinary bits to execute operations. And the reason why these qubits are so important is because they aren't limited to one path at a time. A quantum computer can try lots of pads, figure out what's right, and solve problems that regular computers take ages to solve in seconds. And that's essentially the gist of quantum computing. If you found this helpful, consider following to learn more about new interesting computer science insights, and check out my website for more content in detail. But have you ever wondered 